Hi there, Casey here with the Indeep, and today I wanted to come and talk to you about hearing the voice of the Lord. Many find this to be a strange thing, but in fact, Jesus tells us about it in John chapter 10, verse 25. Let's read it together. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. So we clearly see here that Jesus is telling us that if we are his sheep, if we are a follower of Christ, we will hear his voice and follow him. So today I wanted to come and share a little personal story with you about um, the Lord teaching me to listen to this voice and to obey this voice. So I hope that it encourages you. So one morning I was getting ready to leave the house and as I was getting dressed, I heard, do not take the interstate. Now I found this strange because when going where I was going, I always take the interstate. So I said to myself, well, when I get dressed, I'll check the maps on my phone and see if there's anything, you know, want a reason that I shouldn't take the interstate. And so I forgot as I was getting ready and started packing the car, I heard the same voice again say, do not take the interstate. So I told myself, well, when I finish packing my car, I'll go and I'll check the maps on my phone and make sure that there's nothing showing on the maps of why I shouldn't take the interstate. Well, lo and behold, I forgot and I was pumping gas and I heard the exact same voice again tell me the exact same thing. Do not take the interstate. And I told myself when I get done paying for my gas and I get in my car, I'll check my phone, I'll look at the maps and see if there's any reason why I shouldn't take the interstate. Well, I got sidetracked in my car and forgot to look at the map and went ahead and took the interstate and didn't think anything about it. And as I'm traveling down the interstate, I keep remembering hearing that I shouldn't take the interstate. So I start praying, you know, for the Lord's protection over our trip. I thought, you know, I hope I didn't make the mistake by taking the interstate. As we had been traveling about an hour, all of a sudden the traffic just comes to a dead stop. We are stuck in traffic for about an hour. And the whole time I'm sitting there regretting, not listening to God's voice. I knew it was his voice, but I just was so busy and so caught up in what was going on that I didn't take the time to listen and obey what he was telling me to do. And so I'm sitting here and I'm dealing with the consequence of not listening to him. The Lord just began to deal with me about why didn't you obey my voice? Why didn't you trust and have faith in what I was telling you? You see, God, he loves us so much that even in our disobedience, he says, why didn't you trust me? Why didn't you obey what I told you? Because God, he is loving and he cares about us. And so it is so important to learn to hear that small voice inside that is the Lord. And so we need, as his children, we need to learn to listen and we need to grow in trusting and obeying the Lord. And so I hope me sharing this story with you today has encouraged you that when you hear the Lord, obey him and trust him, have faith in what he is telling you. It is 
for our protection. He wants to lead us and he wants to guide us. But how can he do it if we are being disobedient children and not listening to what he is telling us? And so today I just wanted to come on here and give you some encouragement. And I want to pray with you that if you have found yourself in the same situation as me or if you have never heard the voice of the Lord or you're unsure if you've heard his voice, I want to pray with you and encourage you that all of God's children know his voice. And if we don't, then we need to connect with our father. We need to get in his word. We need to get in his presence and we need to spend time with him where we learn to hear his voice so that we will not get off the path that he has for us. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for everybody listening to this video right now. Lord, if there are children, your children out there that have been disobedient like I was, Lord, I pray that you give them an increased faith to trust you and to obey you when you speak to them. Lord, let us learn to trust you and your voice above everything that we can see and hear around us. And Lord, for those that have never heard your voice before, Lord, I pray that you will give them ears to hear, that they will be able to hear your voice and follow you. Lord, in the days that we're in, it is so important for us to hear your voice. And so I pray that you open all of our ears and our hearts to receive what you have for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And so I just wanted to come on here, like I said, and just encourage you. The days that we're living in, we're in the last days, and we need to know the voice of the Lord, and we need to be ready to trust and obey what He is telling us so that we do not fall into the trap that the devil has set for us. So if you wouldn't mind, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe so you won't miss when I upload videos. I upload um, Bible teachings every Tuesday. And once in a while, I'll jump on like this one and come and share a quick word with you. And so by subscribing, you'll support this channel and you won't miss when I upload videos. So I hope to see you this next Tuesday and get into the Word of God with you. Until then, take care and stay in the Word.